All right, guys, how's it going? Um, this is my Turner G9X. Uh, I've done quite a few mods to this. Um, I've put OpenTX on it. Uh, my recent mod is the PR10 gimbals, which this is what this video is about. And for transmitting module, I put the FR Sky XJT module in there, and I'm using uh, XSR receivers in my 5 and 6 inch. As for the gimbals, um, I did use the included uh, Allen head hardware. The gimbals themselves, um, if you know the Turner G9X, you will know that these are sticking up quite a bit higher than the factory gimbals, and that's uh, something I'll show you once I get into the transmitter. But uh, these gimbals, they definitely feel more solid and a little more precise than the uh, factory gimbals. So yeah, let me uh, break into this thing. Alright, so after taking out the six screws on the back of the remote, you want to just lay the uh, transmitter open and unplug the main cable going from the back of the transmitter to the front of the transmitter. That nice set of wires right there. Once that's unplugged, you can just take the back of the transmitter away. We will not be using that. Now onto the front of the transmitter where the gimbals are. As you can see right there, um, the little wings that come off the FR Sky gimbals, you do not have to modify them. The holes line up perfectly. These gimbals do not need to be modified at all. The only modification you will have to do, and I will show you in a minute when I take the gimbal out, is you have to trim down the standoffs for, or the standoffs inside the controller that the old gimbals sat on. Um, and this will, this is what causes the gimbals to stick out a little bit. All right, I'll take one of the gimbals out, and I'll show you how I trimmed them down, and I'll also show you how I wired them up. All right, now inside the transmitter, I don't know how good you can see this, but the little tabs right here, these little tabs right here that the, uh, the gimbals bolt through, um, there's one over here, and there's one down here. This one here is just a spacer. Um, it actually doesn't bolt there. But those four, you have to trim them down until they're flush with the uh, with the outer edge. So, like on this one, there's an out. Oops, sorry. On this one here, for example, there's an outer lip, and then the the lip that stands up. If you grind down this tab until it's flush with the outer one. Um, don't go any further than that because then you'll wobble out your screw hole and um, and your bolts won't hold through. Um, and the reason I had to do this, the gimbals fit perfectly fine with the standoff still there, but trying to use the old gimbal screws, they would not tighten up in the FR Sky gimbal, so I had to use the included screws with the FR Sky gimbals and they're too short. Hence why I ground those down so it could sit flush, but now it actually sits like it properly should, almost like it would in a Tyrannus. As for wiring up the gimbals, as you can see right here, the wires coming from the gimbals. These are the wires coming from the gimbals, and the factory wires for the old gimbals plugged into the bottom, those little teeny white plugs down there underneath, I thought they were plugs that you could unplug and then I would use the factory plugs that came with the FR Sky gimbals to plug in place of them but they will not come off. I tried everything I could not get them off. Now what I should have done was I should have depend them and desoldered them and then solder the new FR Sky gimbals through the holes that were there but I just decided to solder them on top. Now the gimbals will wire up exactly the same as the stock ones except two of the potentiometers on the gimbals are backwards which all that means is you have to solder up the positive and negative opposite of each other the only one that actually matters that you solder it in the correct place is the signal wire if you have the signal wire in the right place and you accidentally mix up the positive and negative you're perfectly fine all it will is when you go to calibrate your sticks the uh, channel will be backwards 
So either you can reverse the channel in the transmitter itself, or you can go back in and desolder the positive and negative and flip them. It's no big deal. I had to do it twice on these because I didn't realize that the, I think it was uh, on this one. Yes, on this one, it was the left and right potentiometer, which is this one right here. The positive and negative were opposite on that one. And then on this gimbal on this side, it was actually the up and down gimbal or potentiometer that was reversed. So when I was done, the channel four for my rudder was backwards and my pitch on this side was backwards. So I just went in and desoldered the positive and negative and switched them. And now these work just like factories. So I hope that's good enough for uh, for you to understand how to do this. Oh, and uh, one last thing. Both of these both of these gimbals come set up for spring center. So they will come back to center. On the FR Sky gimbals, you don't have to remove anything like the Turnigy ones or Fly Sky or any of the other ones. This little screw right here actually pushes down the linkage bar that's spring loaded that activates the self-centering stick. So when you screw that all the way down, it pushes that bar out of the way and frees up the throttle stick. So that's all you have to do to uh, free up your throttle stick. Being I'm a mode 2 flyer, this is my throttle on the left side of the transmitter. So I hope that helps. Anybody wants to do this mod? It's kind of a crude video, I know, but yeah. Oh, and if anybody was else was wondering, uh, to do OpenTX, I soldered in a USB port to the bottom of the transmitter. And there's a bunch of little wires you have to solder in place to get it to work. But um, I really wouldn't recommend this because some of these pads are really close to the chip and are really close to resistors and diodes and stuff. So unless you're really good at soldering, I would not recommend doing this. Um, unless you desperately want to convert it over to OpenTX. Alright, now, got the transmitter all back together, and just for a quick show that the gimbals do work, as you can see, it'll low, or focus, there we go. Gimbals work perfectly fine. Now you do have to calibrate them once you uh, are done with the... Uh, with the conversion and to calibrate you hold left and then hit left once more once you get into the menu and there's calibration menu to start now you press start it'll tell you to center your sticks then once you center your sticks you press ok and then after that it'll tell you to move all your sticks and potentiometers you don't have to mess with the switches but just your sticks and your potentiometers the little dials you know right there and there and there's one on that side you just have to move them from their lowest point to the highest point. So for sticks, you just basically go full throttle, min throttle, full left, full right, full left, full right, full max, full bottom. And then your sticks, you just rotate it till it stops and then rotate it again till it stops. And that's all you have to do. And you'll see them move around in the in the screen there. So once you get your full max and your full min, then you press OK again, and now it'll all be calibrated, and it'll all work just like you see on screen now. Now, if anybody was wondering um, on my OpenTX which version I have, I do have OpenTX 2.2.1. I do believe it's under this folder. Oh, no, I take it back. It's under the same menu as the calibration side. Uh, right there. OpenTX for the 9X with the 128 chip version 2.2.1. It is, the, I do believe, the newest version of OpenTX right now. Um, I really like OpenTX. I think it's a great upgrade. So a lot of people ask why I would take the time to do this to a Turnigy 9X when I could have simply bought a Tyrannus X90+. Plus. And the reason I wanted to do this is I like tinkering. I'd rather not just buy a transmitter and be done with it. And plus, the amount of money I have in this transmitter, you can't beat it. I bought this transmitter on a Hobby King sale because they were getting ready to bring out their new Turnigy 9Xs 
that now have the AFHDS 2A protocol and they've upped the graphics on the stickers and stuff a little bit different but same transmitter everything's the same it just comes with the new module so I got this transmitter on sale for like 30 bucks brand new um, but it was a mode 1 so with the stock gimbals I had to go in the first day I got it and switch the gimbals from mode 1 to mode 2 and then change it in the program but then so I got the transmitter for like 30 bucks I got the backlight for like 10 um, the gimbals cost me $25 to get the gimbals the XJT modules 30 or 40 we'll say 40 just for the sake of the price and then to do the little USB underneath that thing was like five bucks so all in all I have right at a hundred dollars in this remote so for the price of a QX7 I essentially have a Tyrannus X90 Plus no the only thing this doesn't have compared to a Tyrannus is it does not have the voice module and that's the one thing I would like to have but it's almost more of a gimmick it's not really that useful so I'm not gonna harp over not having it so in the long run there is my Turner's G9X converted to a Tyrannus X9D. I wanted M9 gimbals, but sadly you can't do this in this remote unless you do a step down from 5 volts to 3 volts on the gimbals because the hall sensors in the M9s only accept 3 volts. Which I probably could have easily put a step down for the M9s, and eventually I might do it and I might make another video of me putting them in here. But I hope you enjoyed watching this. Maybe you give it a try. Just remember, I'm not liable, liable for any screw-ups you do by messing up your transmitter or messing up your new gimbals. But uh, if this is a mod you're thinking about doing, I hope it helps. Have a good one.